Hey, are you okay? Hello? Sorry, I heard activity on this Capcom's RE engine impresses once again. The character models during cutscenes showcase Capcom's skill at creating believable characters with art and style. The animations during cutscenes are great with detailed hair physics and facial animations. When gameplay kicks in, you climb into these awesome looking exosuits, which are beautifully rendered. They remind me of Zone of Enders with touches of Warframe. The world detail is pretty high as well considering how many dinos come at you during gameplay. The visuals are clean and sharp. They did not overuse any post-processing. There are a few issues though. Most annoying is SSR which is just distracting when reflections disappear when you look down. Also some textures can be slow to load when launching into the map. But for some reason, they have a grass detail that pops in so close to the character, they should have just removed it entirely so you don't get the distracting pop in. Exo Primal uses a narrator to give players an immersive experience by providing information about what's happening in the game. This includes what type of enemies are spawning and how well the players are doing in terms of their progress. Of course Capcom uses the binaural audio that they have been using for quite a while now. This really enhances audio when playing with headphones. You can always keep track of where the enemies are. Overall, the audio is very well balanced. I didn't have to make any adjustments to the mix. I can hear everything, including the other players, without any issues. You all have got to learn to calm down. I just need a circuit jump here. Oh, well. This is the most crucial part for any game, and that goes double for a multiplayer-only title. The game is an intriguing blend of Overwatch and Destiny 2's Gambit mode. Each match starts as a race to complete random objectives like zone defense, dino culling, protecting a VTOL, and more. Once this is done, you enter into a final battle of PvP or PvE depending on what you chose for matchmaking. Personally, I just choose random and you get some bonus XP for choosing this. Also, as you progress through more and more battles, you get new dinosaurs and modifiers added to matches. There are several things to level up, such as player, exosuit, and perk levels. And leveling feels right. It doesn't take too long and has a very natural progression. Different exosuits have different capabilities, weapons, and playstyles. You have an assault class, tank class, and medic class. But due to the fact that it is an online multiplayer only game, the biggest issue is content. It's only this one mode. Though it has random objectives, it needs more to warrant its price tag. Exo Primal is a pretty entertaining game, but since it's multiplayer only, the title could last a week or two or last for years. They should have released it as an early access title as a Founders Edition. Now this surprised me. It had a pretty enjoyable story and a creative way of progressing through it. It's multiverse and time travel all wrapped up in one. In each game the Leviathan AI teleports you three years into the past. Where you play war games killing dinosaurs and compete against other exosuit pilots from different dimensions. After a certain amount of battles you will get a scene that tells some of the story. As a result, you are continually engaged in the game and want to find out more about its mysteries. In addition, you get an analysis map which has extra lore and scenes to help explain what's going on. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hi, you still alive? We're still breathing. How are you holding together? Unless a few parts of the red stuff, but there's plenty more of that came from. More important. This game is an excellent example of why I break down my reviews into four parts, visuals, sound, gameplay, and story. It helps me to make my review as unbiased as I possibly can. That being said, Exo Primal has earned itself a B. Oh, oh hell no! Don't you do it! Go that you rest crot! Murder! 
Leviathan isn't responsible for this. Sandy. Check the rest of that fire. Chief, he just... He's gone. But we're not cooked yet. 